Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in I Am Become Death Becomes You or just Death Becomes You for short. Um, now this is a visual novel and these are the types of visual novels that we've played before um, but basically if if you just want the achievements, we can get them done in around 10 to 15 minutes, or if you want to know the story. Basically, it's a sort of murder mystery visual uh, murder mystery visual novel set in a magic university. Somebody murdered your, uh, your best friend, and you find four suspicious, suspicious students at the scene. Very suspicious. Um, anyway, so it's just that if you wanted to know the story. Um, if not, then uh, yeah, we can just crack on. So basically, the achievements... We basically have to get about six or seven different endings, which we will manipulate by uh, putting different save slots and loading up those save slots, etc. So all you need to do realistically is pretty much just follow along with what uh, with what person I tell you to say. Basically, you'll have two choices of which person to um, talk to or accuse, etc. So all you got to do is just follow along with my voice. <laughs> And anyway, with that being said, then let's be, let's do it. We're going to get it in 10 to 15 minutes. So first of all, go to settings, make sure to choose unseen text and after choices. And then with text speed, put it all the way to the right hand side. There we go. I was just making sure you were following my voice then. And then we can start it off. So you can press the right bumper to skip. So just do that. And then you can choose, of course, any name you want. Now, Annie, I've always thought, is a very nice name, so I'm going to go with Annie R. And there's, there's, there's nothing else to it, just Annie Rectio, because I think that's a beautiful name. Annie Rection. So, uh, yeah, Annie Rection. It's, it's a lovely name, so don't laugh, it's just, it is what it is. And if anyone's called Annie Rection out there, I love you. Right, so first of all then, when we get to it, we are going to pick Appaline for the first one. So as I said, in this game, you'll always get two choices uh, and you have to follow exactly which one to choose. So for the first one here, we're going to choose Mrs. Krabappeline. And then we're going to choose Sophie. And then when we get to the next part, we are going to make our first slot in our first save slot of life. Now, achievements are just going to be absolutely popping to death on the screen. So uh, yeah, as long as you're following along, they will... <laughs> They will be smashing you up like a fat kid loves cake. And a skinny kid loves cake. We all love cake, let's be honest, except for diabetics, which is just a damn shame. So when we get here, then make sure to choose. Uh, we're going to press the start button and then we're going to save the game. And now there are all six slave save slots that we are going to use. So for this one, put it in the first save slot. There we go. And then we're going to choose Daniela. Starting to get real intense now. So there we go. Once we have chosen Daniela, when we get to the next choice, we are going to make another save. So when we get here, press the start button again, go up to save game, and then we're going to put it in save slot two. Here we go. Well, once that's done, we can now choose Daniela. Next up, we are going to choose Apple Pie, so the old Apple line. And then for the next one, we are going to choose Daniela. Daniela. When it finally pops up. Uh, there we go. So Daniela, that's the next one we're going to be choosing. And finally, we're going to be choosing Apple Line. It's quite funny to see the name Annie Rection popping up as well. Uh, every other sentence. So uh, make sure to choose Apple Line. And when we get to the next part, then we are going to load save two. Uh, this will actually unlock one of the endings, one of the first endings. There we goes. Uh, Mrs. Crabappa lines, uh, whatever that was. So load up save two. And then we're going to choose Daniela. And we're going to choose Daniela again. And that'll smash up the next ending, the Mentor, or something. The Substitute Mentor. Anyway, we're going to load up save number two once again. And this time we're going to choose Apple Line. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, we're going to be choosing Daniela again. So Daniela, Daniela, she's really good on toast uh, or something. Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Anyway, there's the cake achievement as well, because why not? And for the next one, we're also going to choose Daniela again. So once you've uh, unfocused your an erection off cake, choose Daniela. And then finally, once we've chosen her, we're going to choose Mrs. Crabapoline once again. So there we go. Choose Appoline this time. And there we go. So that one is done. And then once this is all done, we are going to reload save number one. So there we go. It's another stuck in Wonderland. It's another ending done. So go to load. And we're going to load up save number one this time. First of all, we're going to choose Daniela again. Then we're going to be choosing Apple Pie, so old Apple Line. And once again, we are going to be choosing Apple Line again. Apple Line, Apple Line, Alpine Apple Line. That'll get us the new head mentor ending and achievement. So uh, go back to load. We're going to say load up save one. And we're going to choose Sophie this time. Soap High. And just to mix things up, we're going to choose Alice this time. You do actually need to choose Alice anyway, I'm not doing it randomly. And now we're going to be making another save, so press start of course, go up to the old save of game. And then we're going to choose save slot number 3. And once we've done that, we are going to choose Alice. It's a bit of Alice and Sophie back and forth now, so choose Alice this time. And that's basically going to get us another ending, The Prodigy. God, what a band, The Prodigy. Now we're going to load up save slot 3. So again, go to load slot 3 and then choose Sophie this time. And nextly, we're going to be choosing Alice in Wonderland. And next up, we are going to make another save slot. So once you've seen the an erection, Sophie's an erection and everything, now we are going to press the start button, go up to save game again and choose save slot number four. And once we've done that, the next person we're going to choose is Sophie. And that's unlocked another ending and achievement for us, Alice's e Elementals. So we're going to now load up save slot one. So slate load up slot one and choose Sophie. And we're going to be choosing Sophie once again. Soap high. Let's choose soap high. Senpai. And for the next one, we're going to make another save slot. We'll have the novel achievement. So press the start button once more. Go up to save game, of course, and choose save slot number five. Once you've done this, then we are then going to pick Sophie again. That will actually make another ending, the rabbit. So the achievement and ending will unlock. Then we're going to load slot number five. So go to load slot number five. And we're going to choose Alice. And then next up, we're going to choose Sophie. So Sophie this time, please. So we'll get the crochet achievement and we're going to make another save. So again, press the start button, go up to save game. And then we're going to make the last save slot hours. So save slot number six. Once that's done, make sure to choose Alice. So press B to back out and then choose Alice. This will get us the true end achievement, the true end ending. Congratulations, you have done the true end. You are super cute. Right, we'll also, we're going to load slot six again. 
So load up slot six and then make sure to choose Alice again. And for the next one, we will be choosing Sophie. So Sophie it up. Get some Sophie on your face. Uh, oh, never mind. And that'll be another achievement all done and ending. So now we're going to load up slot four this time. So once you've got Sophie off your face, um, sorry, load slot four and choose Sophie again. And for the next one, we will choose Sophie again. So Sophie it up again. And then for the last one, we'll choose Daniela. So make sure to choose Daniela. That'll be another ending complete and the achievement to go with it. So now we're going to load up slot two. We're almost coming to the end of the game now. So load slot two and then choose Daniela first. And this is how I've written these down. So Daniela first and then Apple I. For some reason, my spelling is fantastic, as we all know. Uh, so choose Appleine, or as I put, Appleine. Then next up, you're going to be choosing Dabiella. Yep, I don't know either, but we're going to choose Daniela this time. When get, there we go. So choose Daniela, aka Dabiella. And then next up, we'll be choosing Appleine again. There he is, Appleine once again. Then we're going to choose Daniela again. And for the final time in this one, choose Daniela again. This will be the last, or the penultimate one, sorry, the last to the last one. So finally, load up save slot number two. So load slot two. And then what it's going to be is Apple Line first. And then all it is is literally Daniela for the rest of them. So we're going to need to pick Daniela four times after this one, and that'll be the end of the game. So Daniela, Daniela. Some people think she's gross, but she's really good on toast. Daniela, Daniela. Sorry, that's a Bloodhound Gang song. I was just going with the very obscure. So once we choose Daniela again for the last time, we will get the penultimate achievement. We do have to start a new game in order to unlock the final achievement. By the way, if you wanted to know that Bloodhound Gang song, it was actually talking about diarrhea. Diarrhea. Some people think it's gross, but it's really good on toast. So it's a classic, but just in case we were wondering. So yeah, there we go. We just have to start a new game in order to finish uh, and get the final achievement. So there we go, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share with a friend as well. A big shout out as always to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you all, absolute legends. And I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love!